Google, or rather Alphabet, the key thing about primary stocks is that we don't want them to give us shocks and surprises, instead we want them to gradually or quietly trundle along an exponential trend. So basically all we should be concerned with is whenever an opportunity occurs to add to holdings, as was the case during the March pandemic panic crash. So Google is primary because it is safe. It does not want it much attention as long as the valuations remain sensible. In which respect, Google is a bit tad more expensive today than when my last update. I was tra trading on an EC of 48 against 37 before, though still within its accumulate range. So on the EC metric, Google remains in its buy zone. A safe-ish trillion dollar corporation that is up by over 70% on its March low. Makes you wonder why people waste their time gambling on penny stocks. The next big thing that usually turned out to be a big fat flop. When safe stocks such as Google deliver such gains without much long term risk. Now even Google, this mega giant, does suffer from black swan events such as the was it the 14th of December when it went down for over an hour which I covered in this video explaining my experience of not being able to log into Gmail, YouTube down search not working properly and no Google Drive amongst all of its other services global outage so you have to bear that in mind all of the tech giants are subject to cyber warfare i'm not saying the event on the 14th of december was cyber warfare related but things are going to hot up on the internet what with the rising chinese empire confronting the decaying or subsiding american empire who's not going to go down without a fight you've got two empires and then you have the russians playing piggy in the middle so there is going to be some further outages on the internet and when google goes down the world stops functioning it's become that powerful and why it's number one anyway google delivered its buying opportunity late september so if you were lucky to buy but failed to act to pull the trigger there when google was trading down at 400 dollars then you only have yourselves to blame because i told you to buy but if you didn't listen tough Google's break above its previous high of 1530 is propelling the stock towards the next major milestone resistance area of $2,000 as Google continues to trade when its post-pandemic crash channel, currently retreating from the upper end of the channel and eyeing, filling the gap at 1675. In terms of lowest Google could trade down to during a correction, then $1,600 is possible which will thus be Google's next achievable buying level. Again, the whole of this extensive analysis has already first been made available to patrons who support my work. So, for immediate first access to all of my analysis and trend forecasts, then do consider becoming a patron by supporting my work for just $3 per month. And just an example, what do you think my forecast was for where the Dow would end 2020? right at the beginning of 2020 guess 30,750 to 31,000 where is it trading now go and have a look at the chart and make up your mind whether you should subscribe become a patron for just three dollars per month anyway i'm gonna say merry christmas and a happy new year to all and here's a christmas message for my budgies and do consider becoming a patron because there's going to be a lot more opportunities during 2021, 2022 and beyond.